Week three. It appears the sticks are working. More kids are now actively engaged, but some of the top students still don't like having to wait their turn. So Dylan's now got two more ideas he thinks will meet the needs of every single student. He believes no child should ever be left behind in class. It feels worrying when I feel like I'm left behind because of if the longer you leave it, the harder it is. Like you can't walk up to a teacher and say, "Oh, two lessons ago, I didn't understand that." When I don't quite get the lesson, I feel like more stupid than everyone else because they'll they'll be like doing the work, and I'll be asking the teacher for help. Dylan doesn't just want one student to answer, but all twenty-four. Hey, I think the next stage after you've got no hands up under your belt is what I call all student response systems. What you need is one of these: a mini whiteboard. I think mini whiteboards are the most important development in educational technology since the slate. If you want to get every student engaged, if you want to find out whether they've understood something, you ask a question. The students write their answers on the mini whiteboards, and then they hold them up, and you can quickly eyeball the whole class to see if they've understood it or not. It's very simple, but incredibly useful. Another technique we're going to we're going to encourage you to use is traffic lights. Every child has three cups. At the beginning of the lesson, the green cup is showing. If you want to signal to the teacher that you think she's going a bit fast, you show yellow. And if you want to stop and ask a question. You show red. So there are a number of these techniques, very simple, very low-tech ways in which you can improve the quality of information that you're getting from your students. All these ideas sound really good, and I'd love to be able to use them all, and hopefully we will in the next few weeks. But it, it also strikes me it's a lot of stuff for them to play around with: drop on the floor,、mm -hmm. break, scribble on. You know, this is. You know, I, I don't know. Is any like particular technique or something? You, you'll have to find a way that works for you. But what, what one teacher I saw doing was when a kid scribbled on a cup, she just took the cups off him, and he wasn't allowed to communicate using, using the cups. And he thought that, he thought that was a punishment. So often kids will see, you know, the, this the, this equipment is a way to help you as teacher help them. And if they misuse the equipment, then you're just gonna you're gonna close that line of communication. I think that、uh, what Dylan has given us today is going to be really, really helpful in class. It's somehow things that I have heard of before, sort of in the grapevine, but I've never really implemented for one reason or another. Maybe because I didn't have the time, I didn't have the resources. It was a great idea at the time, but I never really got into it. And I think it's going to be a really good opportunity just to try things out. Miss Obi is nervous about more change. The whole training is giving me a mixed feelings because when you start something, some kids are going to react negatively to it. So there is that anxiety because I know that for the next couple of lessons, it's going to be disruptive. Miss Obi has only been teaching for two years. She changed her career from banking when she came to England. I'm going to give you five pot pens, and you do. Once you write a loose word before I ask you to start, I'll take it off and that's it. You've lost your chance. Please, don't be testing me. It works. Package. Three, two, one. So far, so good. The whiteboards work well, and everyone is engaged. Okay, time is up. Can everyone show me their answers? On their whiteboard quickly.、Oh, Show me your answers quickly. Okay. From checking your answers, most of you have got it wrong. You don't. Excuse me. Now. Ten minutes into the lesson, and the boards are put to more creative use. <laughs> Miss Obi's worst fears have been realised. 
<laughs> no, it didn't work. Well, I don't think the whiteboard, the whiteboard worked very well because the kids were playing up, using it to draw and writing some stupid stuff, which was not what I expected them to do. So in the end, it caused more havoc. Miss Overbury wants to try the coloured cups. She gives the class a written assignment and gets the students to use the cups to tell her how they're getting on. If at some point during your assessment you're not too sure about something and you're feeling a little bit worried, I want you to please to go to the yellow one. If, however, you're really stuck and you need immediate attention, i.e. you want me to come to you first because you're really stuck, you can't even go on to the next sentence, I want you to put down on a red. I want everyone, please, to put it on the green for now and leave them alone. I want everyone not to be touching them. You're touching them. You're a cup toucher. Leave it. Uh, why is that so effective? Because what's that reminding us of? You'll never walk alone. Um, the um, slogan. Yeah, perfect. So it's reminding us of how the slogan still, <coughs> still use it. Was, was penned. 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 It means like you're crammed into a very small space. It worked nicely because it just stops them from having to keep their hand up the whole time. And it means that I can get to them fast. So, yeah, no, it worked well. But I have noticed that they're just buckling down quicker to it. So that, that's nice to see. OK, so now you want to actually be looking at in at the techniques. OK, so I want you to pick. Uh, yeah, I did enjoy it because I did feel, like, more focused in the class. I think that the coloured cups is a good idea. I think you can get, like, a feel of what the whole class are thinking. The new techniques are a hit with the students. If you're stuck on something, you like when you're writing in your books, you're independent. But if people's putting their boards up, like you can look around and get help, basically. I think that um, the cups do actually work. Instead of putting your hands up all the time, you can just sit there and just wait for the teacher to come round. You don't have to keep your hand like yeah. held up. Whiteboards are good because you can get like an overall view of what the class thinks of the work. I like the whiteboard because it gets more, if you think about it, it gets more information down and everything. And also it's fun. I like the whiteboards because um, you can get your answer like quicker and um, at least everyone can answer that way. And also it's, it's a bit more interesting than just writing it in your book. Miss Obi decides to give the cups a go. Thank you, Charlie. It doesn't tell you what P is. If I'm going too fast for you, you turn your cup to amber. Then, if you do not understand anything at all, if you do not understand, if all I've been saying does not make any sense to you, you still don't have a clue what I've talked about, you turn it to red. OK? Now, Dean, can you give me... But the cups bring a bigger Kili. problem. Kili. Ryan, I'm going to take those cups off you now. I need it to be on green. And I haven't even done anything that you don't get yet. I'm still starting the lesson. I need you all to do just question one first before we move on. We need to get that number that we multiplied by two. The students send Miss Obi a clear message. X equals 12 divided by six. 2 is 6. It's not 4 divided by 4, it's 12 divided by 4. Jesse, Katie, Harvey and many others turn their cups to red. Okay? Charlie, turn around. I'm offended. I'm coming, Harvey. It's Ivy. The cups reveal the kids just don't get it. Dylan decides it's time to have an honest conversation with Miss Obi. Yeah, so how do you think that went? Not very well. No, no. Because they, they kept playing with the cups. Oh. But it's shocking how they forget things. 
I think, that, I, th I think the problem with this class is at the moment they don't understand what those expressions mean. So when you say 4x plus 3 equals 12, they don't realize that you start with the x, then you multiply by 4, and then you add the 3, and you end up with a 12. I don't think they understand the order of the operations well enough, which is why they're struggling. So... Okay, I don't know. But the, we, the thing is, if each time you do something new, yeah. they struggle, yeah. they get it now, yeah. leave it, come back to it after one week, yeah. they, don't, they wouldn't even remember they've done no. it before. Which suggests that they're not really understanding it, but yeah. they are getting the hang of it. But the problem is, as soon as you teach them something new, then the last thing you taught them goes out the window again. The cups expose exactly what Dylan wants. Miss Obi thought she was getting through to the class, but her lesson wasn't working. She needs to have the courage to face up to that, something many teachers never do. The difficulty of all of this is that most teachers teach these lessons and they think the students are understanding it, and therefore they don't want to know that it didn't work. It's almost like ostrich-like behavior. And what many of these te techniques reveal is that despite your brilliant lesson, the kids didn't get it. And I think every teacher should want to know about that.